How does that 11% become four? Wouldn't those 11% kids become 11% adults? You would think, and that's, that's you would absolutely think. And there's a, um, I read a great article, which I'll need to dig up, um, talking about just purely about methylation mm -hmm. and how you have a spike of methylation right around uh, your early 20s, and then your need for methylation, your methylated vitamins becomes less. And so uh, I always think that when there's this, well, I grew out of my ADHD. Well, not necessarily. Uh, the, the demand of fuel from your body changed mm -hmm. for your nervous system, for uh, especially if there's an inflammatory aspect to it. Well, I did not know this, that the need for methylation <laughs> lowers. Yeah, it's a demand on the body. So through puberty, from zero to you yeah. know, the 20s, it's high, and then it starts to increase again around your 40s. So you know, I, when, I, when I'm doing talks and things, I always talk about, well, if I was to explain and describe um, someone who, with, with typical lack of focus, uh, difficulty completing tasks, mm -hmm. uh, always kind of moving around and never really able to concentrate on anything, and I said they were 14, well, you would think ADHD. And if I said they were 72, you would think dementia. And so <laughs> I think there's a lot of, of commonalities, both, both in the behavioral aspect, but also in the physiological and biochemical aspect of those two types of mm -hmm. diagnosis.